हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल नाम स्वर इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन बिकॉज आई पोस्ट द वीडियो रिलेटेड टू टेक अपडेट्स जॉब अपडेट्स इंटर्नशिप अपडेट्स एंड फ्री कोर्सेज सो डू चेक आउट माय वीडियोस सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट हाउ टू जॉइन जेन ए आई अकेडमी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन द रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस सो इन दिस एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू कम्प्लीट द कोर्सेज हाउ टू गेन द क्रेडिट how to submit your google skills public profile in gen ai academy 2.0 so if you haven't watched this video go and watch it first then come to this video in previous video we just saw how to register so in this video we'll see what's next we'll follow this step and gain the credits and do the courses okay so let's see what to do so first of all we need to create and submit our google skills public profile in in the google skills profile submission tab so just click on guide so here are the steps which we need to follow in order to create it so to start our learning journey in complete courses we'll need a we'll need to create a google skills account so here we will see how to create it this account is mandatory to get access to hands on training content and tracking your progress throughout the campaign so let's follow the steps so first we need to visit this website Let's let's copy this and paste in the browser. Click on join. Make sure you're using the same email which you use it to register for Academy two point zero. So you can choose anything like create account with Google or sign in, or you can use email and password. So I'm clicking use email and password here. Give your first name, last name, email here. Company. If you are a student, you can write your university or college name. Then password, password confirmation, date of birth. Then I am not a robot. If you are new, you can create account or you can sign in or you can just create account with Google. Okay. So I will just sign in. I am just signing with Google. So here is it. After creating the profile, the next important step is to make your profile public. So how to do that? Let's see. So click on your profile icon. Click on settings. Scroll down. If you scroll down, you can see public visibility. Click on make profile public. Click on update settings. Once you are done with this updating, then you will see a public link for your profile, public profile. Copy this link. Now come back to the hackathon dashboard. Click on Google Skills Profile Submission. Click here Google Skill Profile Submission. So here you need to enter your email ID. The email ID which you use it for hackathon registration, which you use it for creating the Google profile. The same email address you need to give here and the link profile public profile link which you just copied, you need to paste it here. After filling the details, click on submit. So once you complete this process, you will gain 35 credits. And as they mentioned here, so once you have your credits, you can you are free to choose any learning track you want and you can complete you can choose any learning track you want and complete it to earn the skill badge. Once you earn the skill badge, you can submit it on the skill badge submission. So after earning a skill badge, you can submit it here. Then you can earn a track exclusive certificate if you complete all the courses listed in the particular track. You can earn the program completion certificate if you complete all the mentioned tracks with the individual course completion. Here on a note, each submitted skill badge will get verified and your progress will only be marked based on the valid submissions. So your, uh, so your progress will be marked marked only on the basis of valid submissions you are free to update your submission at any time you can update any time if you submit two submissions for one course the latest submission will be considered and the old submission will be discarded once you claim your 35 learning credits they will be renewed on a monthly basis so after submitting your pu public profile link then we need to complete our courses so if you click here you can see the courses which we need to do so these are actually the skill badge 
so we need to complete all this we need to complete the skill badges and we need to submit it here okay so now let's see how to do these courses so for suppose i'm taking this course click here now you can start this course by clicking here start so then you can complete this courses here and if you complete this uh, course only this course if you may get the badge but for learning purpose you can do these courses then you will get the course badge and after completing the course badge you will get the link and the skill badge link you need to paste it here like you need to paste it here so i'll tell the process of skill badge submission in my next video so stay tuned for it until then complete all the courses so only we have 17 days to complete this course so complete is as soon as possible so that's all for today's video if you have any doubts regarding this video or any other videos from my channel you can just drop them in the comment box i'll surely reply to them and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest updates see you in next video till then keep learning bye bye